this music off. How is everyone doing this evening? We're gonna get a BCW started here shortly. But first, for the Immortal Championship match, let's see who Red Angel is going to be facing and in what type of match. What's up, KB? What's up, Shadow? Spin the wheel indeed. We're gonna shuffle the names a bunch. And let's see who it is today. Ooh. D. Mosley is in the main event tonight. With a shot to become number one contender for the tag team titles with his tag partner. And now, he's got a chance to be a mortal champion. Now next, let's see what the match type is going to be. Ooh, interesting. A submission match. All right. Didn't see Kuma where. On the wheel? Definitely on there. Da -da -da -da. Should be. Yeah, there you are. It says Kuma King. You are right. Ah, uh, crap. You're right here, Kuma. You're upside down. That's right. It's always next week. Whoa, hello, cat. Just ate a whole pizza and might die. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. But all right, so let's go through the card tonight. So, starting off the show, we're going to have D. Mosley taking on Red Angel in a submission match for the Immortal Championship. Then we got Kuma with his new manager, Kent Hart, taking on the number one contender for the TTV title, Nathan Oliver pulled your groin or ab or something on Saturday. How did you manage that? Then we got Matthew taking on Kaiser Gideon. We got Casey James taking on the Stenson. <laughs> For real, Kuma or KB. Then in another matchup for the Mixed Match Mixed Match Challenge, we got Adjacent and Alyssa taking on Red Angel and Rose. We got A Mills taking on Olivia Duncan. Then we got Protege taking on TJ Steele. Try to do a kip, kip up. Oh god, that shit's hard. Oh, uh, excuse me. His mustache is real. Nothing fake about it. And in the co main event, we're going to have a 10 woman battle royal to see who will be the number one contender for Fright Night for the women's title. And then in the main event, we have a triple threat elimination tornado tag between the Prestige, the Saiyan Assassins, and the Midnight Kings, where the winner will face the Reckoning next week at Fright Night for the tag titles. So I'm going to hit the intro, and let's get to it. Say I changed the game. No one can forget my name because I carved it here forever. Steady on the highest stone, like a king upon his throne. You can all bow down together.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to BCW Midnight Mayhem on a special Monday evening here. We are one week away from a Fright Night. Got some number one contenders to crown, and we've just got a hell of a card in general. We are live from Kansas City, Missouri. How are you all doing this evening? Our first match of the night will be for the Immortal Championship. It's going to be D. Mosley taking on Red Angel in a submission match. Red Angel, one of only three Immortal Champions to have two successful back-to-back -back title defenses. We'll see if he can uh, get the record here tonight with a third. Red Angel been on a hot streak as of late. Currently has the most wins of anyone in BCW with an overall record of 12 and 7. So probably not quite as many as he would like, but still on the plus side. The following contest is a submission match. It is for the fighting championship. <clears throat> challenger D Mosley gonna make his way to the ring first D Mosley and Red Angel good friends but they've never faced I don't think actually at all in BCW whether it be in singles action or tag team action I don't think the reckoning has faced the Midnight Kings yet have they let me let me check The Reckoning did face the Midnight Kings on September 20th, actually. And the Reckoning were able to come away victorious in that matchup. That is the only time these two gentlemen have been in the ring together. So we will see if uh, D. Mosley is able to get some revenge from that tag team match a little, a little under a month ago. We don't see a lot of submissions between these two gentlemen, so it'll be interesting to see how they adapt to the match type. Mosley has made his way to the ring. Champion, soon to follow. Red Angel making his way to the ring for his first of two matches here tonight. Red Angel, no stranger to uh, double duty. Had two matches at Destruction of Paradise two weeks ago. He had a ladder match against Dr. Hart for the Immortal Championship. And then later on in the night, faced the Prestige with his brother Twig for the tag team titles walked out victorious in both of those matches to become BCW's first double champion. I'm sure he would like to hold on to this title here tonight and go in to Fright Night with both titles still, and I'm sure he would love to walk out of Fright Night with both titles. And if he does that, I'd say Red Angel probably has a very strong case to be a number one contender going into Zero Hour. I mean, hey, he's earned it, to be fair, KB. The Immortal Championship is one where everyone has a fair shot. Here, well, beforehand, there was people calling them out. Well, yeah, I know. I, I know that's not what you were saying. <laughs> That's what it is all about, ladies and gentlemen, that Immortal Championship. Now, I will take you to the ring for introductions.
Introducing the champion from Sin City. Weighing in at 230 pounds. He is the fighting champion, Austin Angel. <coughs> Since Twig is a champion now, will he upgrade to a branch? I feel like he should upgrade to a full tree. Right? That's how that would work, I would think. D. Mosley taking a good hard look at that Immortal Championship. This is Mosley's first title match. And I want to say this might actually be his first singles match. Let me double check on that. And we are underway. And this is indeed D. Mosley's first singles match. What a first match to have for the Immortal Championship. Started off hot. Picked up Red Angel right off the rip. But Red Angel was able to fight out of it. Now Red Angel connecting with some nice combinations there. Full tree a singles champ or world champ? Fair enough. <clears throat> the experience of Red Angel is showing here. Oh, Red. Going for a submission here early. D. Mosley in the middle of the ring. But I think it's going to be a bit too early to get a submission there. Yeah. Mosley able to fight out. Oh. Red able to get out of the way of that kick from D. Mosley. Stopping any sort of offense he's trying to get here. Mosley throws Red over the top rope. Mosley now going to the top rope. He wants Red up. You don't see him up there too often. He connects with a double axe handle. Oh. Oh. A nice spinning uppercut there from D. Mosley. Now starting to work on the arms of Red. Mosley looking for a submission, but it's outside the ring. So it will not count if Red taps here. Also, I guess there's no countouts in a submission match. That is a uh, new information to me. I could have sworn KB and Axel had countouts, but <laughs> maybe I'm misremembering. And Red throws... Mosley into the steel steps there. Mosley back in the ring. Red blocks a strike. Gets reversal there. Gets some nice combinations in on Mosley. Backing him into the corner. Oh, Mosley catches the hand though and slaps Red across the face. Lifts him up. Just throws him down to the mat. Now stomping away at Red. And a drop kick to the back of the head there from Mosley. Red able to roll out of the way of that elbow drop. Red trying to outstrike D. Mosley. I don't know if it's a, the best strategy here. Mosley drops Red across the top turnbuckle. And I think, I think it looks like Red might be busted open there. Mosley with the leg drop. Now going to the corner. Going up to the top rope. Looking for a frog splash, and he's able to connect. Remember, this is a submission match, so no pinfalls here. Nice little pop-up power bomb from Mosley. Turns red over. Start wrenching on that head and neck area. Applying all the pressure to his back from that knee. Red in the middle of the ring, nowhere near the ropes. Mosley go. Gonna let go and just slam Red face first into the mat. Looked like Red was gonna handily have this match in the beginning, but Mosley has turned things around here in the last couple minutes. Red able to roll out of the way of that flying elbow. But Mosley keeping momentum here and not letting Red get any sort of offense in right now. Not letting him turn this around in the slightest. Mosley looking for a suplex. Red tried to stop it. Oh, and he's able to slip out there. Follow up with his own German. Red could be looking for the Sin City driver here. Oh, no. Steals Den... D. Mosley's finisher, that pop-up powerbomb. 
And now has him in a submission, center of the ring. Well, not quite center. Mosley's close to the ropes. Can he get out? I did not do predictions. Red connects with a springboard cannonball there. I'm going to try and get these up real quick. A Sin City driver from Red. Red could be looking for a submission here, but Mosley's foot under the ropes, clearly. A rare mistake there from Red Angel. Oh, and a vicious clothesline. Mosley trying to turn things around. We'll give you guys two minutes to get predictions in. Since this match has already started. Oh, and a spear from out of nowhere from Mosley. Calls it up with a pop-up power bomb. Could be looking for a submission, but Red's foot under the ropes. Oh, maybe not. There it is. The inexperience from Mosley. Surprisingly, didn't learn from Red Angel there. Didn't move him away from the ropes. Mosley has Red up on his shoulders. Drives him to the mat. You are indeed a mod, KB. Oh, and Red went for a Superman punch, but whiffed. Mosley able to capitalize. Nice belly to back. Mosley going up to the top rope. He wants Red up. Connects with that double axe handle. Big splash there for Mosley. Mosley out here hanging on by a thread. <laughs> I know he's got the champ on his heels right now. Knocks him down to ringside. This match has got to end inside the ring. Mosley brings him back in. Nice elbow drop to the spine there. Now working the arms of Red. Red able to roll out of the way. Connects with a Superman punch. Springboard cannonball connects. Red lifts Mosley up. Tosses him over into the corner there. Red can go for some ground and pound. Looking for a submission, but Mosley close to the ropes there. Oh, but not quite close enough. Red pulling. It's Mosley. Mosley taps out. What a match. Red Angel. Able to hold on to that immortal championship here this evening. Here is your winner and still fighting champion, Austin Angel. That win, Red Angel improves to six and four in singles competition, 13 and seven overall. Red Angel on quite the hot streak. I honestly don't know the last time he's lost a match. How many limbs have to be under ropes for a break? I thought just one. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Kuma with his new manager, Kent Hart. Taking on TTV number one contender, Nathan Oliver. Get these predictions up before I forget. No prediction, not predictions. Oh, wait. It's just in Bear Tears Apart local talent. Nathan's not local talent. He's got a title match next week. 
All right, you guys have five minutes as normal to get these predictions in. There's Kuma's new manager, Kent Hart, there in the background. One of uh, the Hart's many connections, I guess one would say. <clears throat> Kuma, looking determined here. Definitely wanting to turn things around with his uh, career here in BCW. Kuma with a, a record of 1-5. and five. Definitely not how he expected things to go. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. When he joined BCW here. His one win was for the Immortal Championship. He then unfortunately lost it in his first title defense. I believe that was to Red Angel. Let me double check. Yes. Kuma beat Axel in a last man standing match back on September 20th for the Immortal Championship. And then Red Angel won it, won it, won it on September 27th. Nathan making his way to the ring. Nathan with a big match ahead of him tonight and next week. Next week he takes on Big Head for that TTV title. Nathan earned himself a TTV title shot when he beat former TTV champion uh, Mr. Chicken Doodle the week before Destruction of Paradise. Nathan uh, hasn't isn't necessarily new. He's been in BCW for a while, just hasn't had a whole lot of matches, but he is 2-0 in the two matches that he's had. So we'll see if he can continue that streak here tonight. Kuma, aggressive as normal, coming out the gate, but Nathan going to throw some elbows and get out of it. Oh, and a nasty jawbreaker there from Nathan. Nathan getting some nice combinations in. Kind of catching Kuma off guard here. A little elbow drop to the back. Nathan going to the top rope. Connects with a leg drop, goes for an early pin. And Kuma kicked out at two and a half. I can't believe Nathan damn near got the three count there. Would have shocked all of us. Nathan connecting with a springboard crossbody there. Coming off the ropes. Connects with a splash, although that can't do too much damage. Nathan probably weighs a whole 10 pounds soaking wet. Goes for another quick pin. And Kuma's going to kick out at one that time. Nice kick to the back there from Nathan. Nathan, with a twist of fate out of nowhere, goes for the pin. One, two. And Kuma. Whew, Kuma with the late kick out there. Kuma's got to turn things around here in this match. He started off aggressive but oh and went for the swanton but kuma knows that all too well with his matches against axel able to get the knees up kb i have no idea what's going on <laughs> you'd think kent hart would do something but he's just standing there looking oblivious out at ringside but kuma's got to turn things around here came out the gate it's hot but nathan able to get one reversal in and turn this entire match on its head Went for a standing moonsault there, but Nathan rolls out of the way. It's a leg drop there. A questionable of a, how low that leg drop is, and he does it again. The ref's not going to stop him then. I can't say I blame him. Nathan going up to the top rope. Could be looking for that swanton again. No, just a splash this time. Goes for the pin. And Kuma kicks out at two. Nathan back up to the top rope. Now the Swanton and connects. Goes for the pin. Is this enough? Two. And Kuma kicks out at two. Nathan thinks he should have had it. Nathan went for a standing moonsault, but Kuma able to roll out of the way. Trying to use his own move against him. Kuma not going to have it. 
vicious power bomb from Kuma into a Samoan drop. Kuma not happy with how this match has uh, gone so far, I am sure. And now has Nathan in a submission here. Nathan able to get out of it pretty quickly, tossing Kuma over his shoulder. An impressive showing here from Nathan tonight. As he connects with a DDT there. Nathan with another twist of fate. Goes for the pin. One. Two. And Kuma kicks out at two again. Kuma roll out of the ring. The resiliency in Kuma is nothing short of astounding. And looked like a step up head kick there from Nathan, I think. Maybe a drop kick? I don't know. Nathan up to the top rope. Could be looking for that swan time, but Nathan taking his time, trying to decide what he wants to do. Oh, and both men swinging and missing wildly. Nathan went for a crossbody. Kuma was trying to take him off the top with what looked like a forearm. Wasn't able to get it. Kuma with a big power bomb goes for the pin. And Nathan kicks out at two. Kuma going to the corner. I think he's looking for that spear. He's able to connect. Kuma not a whole lot of offense in so far, but when he's gotten it in, it's been hard-hitting move after hard-hitting move. I think I would have went for the pin there if I was Kuma, but... Oh, Kuma. Another power bomb. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. And Kuma walks out victorious in his first match with Kent in his corner. It's a little scary there for Kuma for a second. I didn't think he was going to win that match. Kicking out a couple swantons. And a couple twist of fates. Nerve-wracking indeed. And with that, Kuma picks up his second win in BCW. We'll see if this partnership with Kent, ha Kent Hart works out. That's what your Bear King does. I guess it's known I can take a lot of damage. That is true. Kuma, one of the most resistant, com er, resilient, not resistant, resilient competitors here in BCW. Takes a lot to put him down. Next up, we got Matthew taking on Kaiser Gideon. <clears throat> Kaiser with a great match last week against Chicken Doodle. We will, we will fix Kaiser's face for Season 2, I promise. <clears throat> Predictions, yes. Thank you. Predictions are up. You guys got about five minutes to get them in. Matthew having his first match in a little under a month. His last match was on September 20th when him and Mr. Mike Vile took on RJ Staggs and the Manimal in a tag team match where they walked out victorious. Matthew actually victorious in each of his last three matches with victories over adjacent Big Head Toretto and then that tag team match I mentioned earlier. So Matthew kind of on a slight run here, although his matches have been a little more spread out. Matthew has a, not lost since losing to uh, Colton Elliott. Yes, yes it is. As his only loss. And he has uh, pretty much been on a revenge tour since. 
but he's got a tough task ahead of him this evening and Kaiser Gideon one of the more successful singles competitors here in BCW with a record of seven and four a three time if memory serves me correct let me check that no I'm sorry a two time immortal champion with a combined reign of 38 days between the two runs for Kaiser. This is probably going to be Matthew's hardest matchup yet. Matthew lifting up Kaiser right out the gate, but Kaiser able to slip out and deliver a German. Kaiser just walking ever so slowly to the middle rope. Went for a drop kick, but Matthew able to just move out of the way. Matthew swinging wildly. Missing the first one, but connecting on the next two. Now Kaiser going to throw him all over the ropes. I was going to say into the ropes, but he ended up going over. As Matthew falls down to ringside. Matthew able to get back into the ring well before the count of 10. Cat, what did you do? Oh, there we are. <clears throat> Matthew with a submission there on Kaiser out at ringside. Kaiser throwing a couple punches, able to get out of that. Kaiser went to throw Matthew into the steps. Matthew able to put on the brakes before running into him. Now Matthew tries to do the same, but Kaiser also able to put on the brakes before running into the steel steps. Matthew goes in and out of the ring to break up the count. Matthew trying to get Kaiser up for that suplex, but Kaiser delivers a knee. Oh, now just stretching Kaiser out really across his back there. Now working on the knee, because if he takes the leg out, it's going to be hard for Kaiser to deliver that yeet kick. Matthew throwing Kaiser into the barricade there. And Kaiser, as soon as he falls, immediately goes to that knee. It's not what Kaiser wants. It's a leg injury here. Referee's count is up to five. Kaiser out there showboating. Should probably get back in the ring. That's what he's going to do. Matthew showboating in the corner. and Kaiser tried to take advantage, but Matthew able to get an elbow up. A nice DDT from Matthew. Stomping away at the arm of Kaiser. Nasty forearm to the back there from Matthew. Falls it with a right hand right to the temple. Taking Kaiser down, stomping away at the arm. Looking for that claw submission again. Kaiser, center of the ring, nowhere to go. Kaiser, able to get up and fight his way out. Kaiser has got to turn things around here. Matthew able to duck under a kick from Kaiser. Anytime Kaiser tries to get things going, Matthew able to just put all his momentum to a screeching halt. Running face wash there from Matthew. Now Matthew could be setting up for that choke slam. Is Kaiser up? Oh, Kaiser able to reverse it into an arm drag. Impressive reversal from Kaiser there. Probably saving him in this matchup. Kaiser has a submission locked in. Matthew really close to the ropes, though. He wants the rope break, but instead he's just going to pull Kaiser's leg out from under him. Going after that injured leg once again. Oh, apparently it's not that injured. Kaiser with the Kinshasa out of nowhere. 
Kaiser going to drag Matthew to the middle of the ring. Going to roll him over and go for a pin. I don't think he's done quite enough for the three count, but we'll see. Matthew kicks out at two. Kaiser stomping away the arm and hand of Matthew so we can't get that choke slam locked in. Kaiser could be looking for that yeet kick. <coughs> and he connects. The yeet kick has put so many others away. It would do the same here. One, two. Oh, and Matthew kicks out at two and a half. Kaiser thinks the ref was a little slow with that count. Went for a springboard moonsault. Matthew able to roll out of the way, though. Now stomping away at Kaiser. Now Matthew going to the top rope. Kaiser pulling himself up with the ropes. Matthew decides to get back down. Oh, Matthew swinging and missing wildly there. Kaiser going to drag Matthew to the ropes. Deliver a couple kicks. Try and take the big man down, and he does. The springboard, whatever the fuck was for the ref. It might have been. <laughs> Kaiser continuing to work on the arm of Matthew. Throwing him over the top. Oh, and knocks him out to ringside with one punch, but Matthew's still on his feet. Not completely falling down. Oh, a nasty suplex there. Almost into the ring post. Kaiser going to work here at ringside. Dropping the knee right across the face of Matthew a couple times. Gonna throw Matthew into the announce table here. Kaiser going to get back into the ring. Gonna take some time to showboat and relax in the corner. He's going to break up the referee's count. Has Matthew up. He's going to throw him back into the ring. It's to end this match in the ring. Oh, and Matthew just picking Kaiser up by his head and slamming him to the mat. Kaiser able to push Matthew away with his legs there. Nice neck breaker. Kaiser in the corner looking for that yeet kick again. Matthew drops to a knee. Kaiser connects. Is that enough to put Matthew away? One. Two. Oh, and Matthew again kicks out at two and a half. Kaiser thinks that was three. I don't know. The ref wasn't quite slow there. Matthew just surprisingly able to kick out. Matthew looking for that knockout shot there. Springboard drop kick from Kaiser. Able to connect. Oh, but Matthew going after that leg again. Now looking for the clothesline. Kaiser was able to get out of this earlier. Not this time. Matthew goes for the pin. Is this enough? One. Two. And Kaiser kicks out at two. What a match between these two gentlemen. Did I say clothesline? I meant choke slam. <laughs> I didn't even realize that's what I said. Matthew finally gets a suplex he's been looking for pretty much all match that goes to the ground and pound stroke it might be look man I'm tired I got a whole three hours of sleep it's been a long day get the immortal champ tested I was busted open earlier I might have a concussion nice little sidewalk slam from Matthew goes for the pin two Wow, and that is it. Matthew picking up the victory here over Kaiser. Matthew, now the winner of four straight. Pizarro Championship Wrestling? What is this? <laughs> and with that, Matthew and 
improves to three and one in singles competition. And four and one overall. Who, what was the immortal fight? It was Red Angel and he took on D. Mosley in a submission match and Red Angel retained again. Next up, we got Casey James taking on the Stenson. Cat, uh, I need you to not walk all over the keyboard, please and thank you. After that match, Kaiser falls to seven and five. You did miss Kuma King beat up Nathan. And it wasn't you this time. Yes, Axel is uh, suspended. Uh, no set date for right now as to when he will be back. Probably after Fright Night. Okay. You've got to get down. You guys got five minutes to get your predictions in between who you think will win between Casey and the Stenson. Stenson was, or not Stenson, I'm sorry. Casey was supposed to have a match last week against Adjacent, but Axel came out and attacked him during the entrance, so that match did not end up taking place. Casey, only one official match on his record since last week did not happen. Uh, ended up losing in his debut match to Bishop Gaming. That was Bishop's first win since May. Here a uh, little over a month ago now. The Stensons? Uh, I, th I think this is Theory's music. And this match is underway. Casey coming out swinging. Stenson able to block the strike slow. Take Casey down to the mat and deliver a drop kick right to the side of the head. Now Stenson stomping away at Casey. Oh, follows it up with a stomp to the chest there. Has Casey up on his shoulders. Carries him all the way to the other side of the ring and drops him across the turnbuckle. I think that might have busted Casey open. Can't get a good look. Oh, yeah. Stenson. Coming out swinging fast this match. Busting Casey open in about 60 seconds. Now Stenson going up to the top rope. Wants Casey up. Anyone but you, Stenson. Oh, was looking for a, a flying elbow there, but Casey able to move out of the way. Connects with a big right. Now Casey looking for a submission on Stenson here in the center of the ring. Stenson able to work his way out of it, though. Stenson with Casey up on his shoulders again. Carries him to the opposite corner and drops him face first across the top turnbuckle for a second time. Oh, and Stenson able to duck out of the, the way that grab there from Casey. Has him up. Nice power bomb there from the Stenson. Stenson in the corner. Looking for that sweet chin music. And he connects. Stenson to look, looking to end this one early. One, 
two. Casey kicks out at two. Stenson setting up here. What's he looking for? I think he's going for a power bomb here. He is. Able to connect. Goes for the pin. One. Two. And Casey kicks out at two again. What is the fastest match? Ooh, that's a good question. Probably that tables match between Red and Axel back in, I don't know, I think that was like June, July. That was like a three-minute match. That has to be the fastest. Or maybe, actually, Paradox versus T-Dog in that number one contendership match also did not go very long. That could be the fastest match, too. I'll have to look. I'll have to do some research on that one. That'll, that'll take a long time to find out. Oh, yeah, Bishop Vile. That was a quick match, too. We've had a few quick ones. Very first match ever. Yeah, that one might have been. We have had some sub-five-minute matches. Casey able to turn things around here, get some momentum on his side. Throw Stenson into the corner. Oh, nice right to the gut. Falls it up with some knees to the gut. Now biting at the head of Stenson. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Stenson kicks out at two. Casey can't believe it. Casey connecting with some big rights. We could definitely do that. Let's see about doing that at, uh, ooh. Casey able to duck under that chopper. Well, maybe not duck, but Stenson might have just aimed too high. We can either do that at the end of the season or the start of season two. We'll plan something out for that, for sure. Now Stenson biting the fingers of Casey. Throws him into the corner. Nice splash. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Casey kicks out at two, and Stenson can't believe it. Stenson looking for that power bomb again. Casey able to reverse. Connects with a nice right. And a stunner to the Stenson. Casey gonna drag him away from the ropes. Might have taken too much time, but goes for the pin. One, two. Kicks out at two. Oh, sorry, cat. <clears throat> Casey trying to keep momentum in his favor. Nice little suplex there. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Drops the elbow across the face. Bear man saw that. Just saw that chick that gave him a compliment three years ago. What? <laughs> Casey could be looking for that stunner again. Kick to the gut. He connects. Casey got to drag Stenson away from the ropes now. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Stenson kicks out at two. He's kicked out of two stunners, and Casey, I think, was yelling at the ref there, but wasn't looking at him. Casey could be looking for a suplex here. Stenson tried to hold off, but Casey ends up connecting anyway. And Casey with another stunner. Got to drag Stenson away from those ropes. Casey wastes a whole lot of time trying to drag Stenson away from the ropes. Goes for the pin. And that is it. Three stunners. Gets you the three count. Casey walking away victorious. Also, welcome Cosmic Okani. Or Okami. Stunner after stunner after stunner indeed.
Matt, get down, please. <laughs> They're forking handshakes. All the sportsmanship. Yeah, I think uh, BCW might be lacking in some heels, to be honest with you. Looks pretty intense. It is indeed pretty intense. Next up, got our second first round matchup in the mixed match challenge. Adjacent and Alyssa taking on Red Angel and Rose. Remember, the winner of this tournament gets a world championship match. We have a heel, but he loses a lot. That's that's true. And then when he loses, he just doesn't show up. <laughs> so there is there is that. But Casey, picking up a big first win in that last match, brings his record to one and one. And the Stenson, if I can find him here, takes his first loss. I uh, did not realize the Stenson was undefeated. He falls to three and one after that match. Stag went MIA. He really did go MIA. Not sure what happened to Stags. I know he's got a match for next week for that mixed match challenge. Ah, yes, predictions, predictions, predictions. See, so the thing is, by OBS, I'm supposed to have a button that says predictions, and it's not there. And I don't know why. So I don't think about it. Like, if I don't see it, I'm not thinking about it. Ah. Cat. Can you not be in the most inconvenient spot, please? Just put a bow tie on Red Angel, please. Prediction, who will win? Cat or Red Angel? Red Angel. Red Angel will beat the cat. <laughs> Eventually. But Adjacent and Alyssa are going to make their way to the ring first. For this mixed tag match. Adjacent and Alyssa. Twins, for those that don't know. Also, siblings of Red Angel. So, a lot of, lot of family in this matchup. Alright, Rose with that WWEP Intercontinental title and Red with the Immortal Championship. This is a team of champions. The bloodline of BCW. <laughs> This is not going to be an easy matchup for Adjacent and Alyssa. Taking on two current champions here. It's not a bad idea, KB. Maybe uh maybe we'll do something with that for season two. Got enough. Red, Adjacent, Alyssa, Twig, Rose. Looks like Adjacent and Red Angel are going to start us off here. Jason going to throw Red into the corner. Hesitated a little bit when he went after him. Now going to put his arm up in the ropes. Starts pulling. Adjacent on a bit of a hot streak here as of late. <clears throat> Excuse me. Axel is also family, yes. It's a lot of family. Red Angel here in BCW. <laughs> oh, Red able to get the knees up. This is a good thing. That cannibal probably would have hurt. Oh, and a spear out of nowhere from Red. But yeah, if the uh, bloodline or family of Red Angel uh, decided to make a faction in BCW, it'd probably be... It'd be a pretty scary one, all things considered. Red taking adjacent to the ground. Some open palm strikes there. Now going to the ground and pound. 
Not letting him get any sort of offense in. Adjacent tried to start off aggressive, but it has seemed to have a Red Angel has turned the tables as of late in the springboard DDT from Red. Red doesn't seem to be slowed down any, if at all, from his submission matchup earlier in the night against D. Mosley. <clears throat> Rose taking Alyssa down face first into the mat. Very similar hairstyles for the two. Double axe handle to the back of the head there from Rose. Now a soccer kick to the gut. Red and Rose just dominating this matchup pretty much from the word go here tonight. Rose going to throw Alyssa into the corner. Now follow it up with some throwing shoulders into her gut. Now stomping away at Alyssa. Alyssa stunned. Rose trying to figure out what to do next. Like she was going to try and drag her somewhere, but took a little bit too long as Alyssa able to throw some elbows and get out of it. Rose though, catches that hand. Brings Alyssa down. Knee to the arms there. Has her up. On the dragon screw cutter. Out of nowhere from Rose. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh, and adjacent. Able to distract the ref and stop the count. Bloodthorn from Rose goes for the pin. One. And again, adjacent comes in and just yells at the ref. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that either. They should just have him, like, pull the women off the count. Or off the cover. Since you can't hit them. Alyssa. Trying to drag Rose to the ropes, but Rose going to throw some elbows in there. Rose knock, or backs Alyssa into the corner. Now choking Alyssa. The ref. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Not having any of it. <clears throat> Yelling at Rose, telling her she's got to stop. Now Rose going to go make the tag to Red. Red, kick to the gut, flips Jason over, follows it up with a fist to the face, stomping away, working on that arm of Jason, has it pinned down, stomps away with the other foot, goes for the pin, is that enough? And Jason kicks out at two, Red can't believe it, I don't know why he thought he was going to be able to put away his brother that easily, but goes for a springboard cannonball and is able to connect. Red going to make a quick tag to Rose. <clears throat> Probably doesn't want to spend too much time in the ring trying to avoid injury. Alyssa with a quick suplex. <coughs> Alyssa has Rose up on her shoulders. Oh, now has a submission locked in. Just stretching Rose out across their back there. But Rose... Able to separate the arms and turn it into an arm drag of sorts. Impressive there by Rose. Throw Alyssa over the top rope. Alyssa tumbles out to ringside. Rose going to the top rope. She wants Alyssa up. Looking for a drop kick, but Alyssa moves out of the way. Oh, and... Alyssa just tossing Rose over her shoulders. Alyssa going to make her way back into the ring. Rose a bit stunned. Trying to figure out where she's at. That takes some time to showboat. She's got some time to get back into the ring. Oh, and Alyssa comes out. Going to make the referee start that count. And Rose takes Alyssa down. Now going after that arm. Alyssa with a kick to the gut there and just gets back in the ring. Referee's count is up to three. Rose going to get back in the ring. Alyssa was waiting for her. Has her up. Oh, but 
Rose delivers a knee to the face there. Oh, no. Vicious knee to the face there from Rose. Can be looking for Fortune's Gold here. Has her in the submission. And for some reason that breaks up a submission. I don't understand. Rose goes for a pin. Is that enough? Two. And Alyssa kicks out at two. Rose going to go make the tag to red. Oh, and adjacent with a kick to the gut. And just dropping red angel. Goes for a quick pin. Trying to take advantage of him having a match earlier tonight. But red kicks out at two. Red with a kick to the gut. Trying to get things back in his favor. Not going well so far. Jason able to start taking over here. Connects with that cannonball. Now stomping away at red. Jason going to the top rope. What's he looking for here? He's looking for a swanton. And red gets the knees up. Jason trying to take a page out of Axel's playbook. And red with a pop up power bomb goes for the pin. Two. And Jason kicks out at two. Alyssa was in the ring. Trying to break it up. She didn't have to. Oh, and a vicious boot from a Jason. And the crowd is loving this matchup right now. A Jason. Putting Red's arms in those ropes. And pulling. Knowing if he takes away the arm, he's going to take away the Superman punch and the Sin City driver. Two of Red's biggest moves. Jason hesitated a little bit, then decides to go for the pin, and Red kicks out at one. Jason took way too much time for that cover. And the Jason with the cave in goes for the pin. One. And Rose able to come in and break it up. And Jason trying to keep all momentum in his corner. Connects with a cannonball. Going back to the top rope. Connects with a big splash. Goes for the pin. Is that enough? One. Two. And Rose. Able to break it up again. Red gets the knees up. Red looking for a big boot, but Jason able to block it. Red picking Jason up. And dropping him across that top rope there. Red going to take out some anger these last few minutes here. Rose doing all the work? I mean, right now. Red had his fair share of offense in at the beginning. Plus, Red had a match earlier tonight. Red could be setting up for the Sin City driver here. And he connects. Trying to end things here. One, two. Oh, not two. Alyssa able to break it up before the two count. Red picks Jason up and tosses him to the other side of the ring. Alyssa wants to break up that pin now. She's going to have a little further to go. Red went for that springboard DDT again, but didn't quite get enough distance. And just completely whiffs. And Jason going to make a tag to Alyssa. Oh, and the dragon screw cutter out of nowhere from Rose. Goes for the pin. Is that enough? It probably would be if this game wasn't shit. <laughs> and Jason gets in the ring and yells at the referee and gets him to stop the count. Alyssa trying to take Rose to the corner there, but Rose is going to throw some elbows. Alyssa fires a knee into the gut of Rose. Both women a little gun shy with reversal after reversal. Oh. Oh, and... Rose drops Alyssa with a nasty right. Rose could be looking for that fortune's gold again, and she is. Has Alyssa in the center of the ring. And Jason breaks it up. Goes for the pin. One. And adjacent yells at the referee and stops the count. Blunt Thorn from Rose goes for the pin. One, 
two. And adjacent breaks it up, and Red is sick of it and delivers a vicious boot. Took adjacent out for a second, but not quite all of it. It is going to be a long tournament. <laughs> Lesla drops Rose across the top turnbuckle there, face first. Comes out of the corner with a power bomb. Kick to the spine for Melissa. She's going to make the tag to adjacent. Oh, and Red running right at adjacent. All of his momentum used against him as adjacent just flips him over his shoulders. Grading for another random DQ. You know, that might be how some of these end. Red stomping away at adjacent. Going to work with the ground and pound. Oh, and I think... Yeah, it looks like Red busted adjacent open there. Oh, and Red just tossing adjacent to the other side of the ring. It was you the first time. Some nice open palm strikes from Red. Kick to the gut. He's going to flip adjacent over and follow it up with a fist to the face. Goes for the pin. One. Two. And adjacent kicks out at two. Red thought that would have done it. Goes for that springboard cannonball, but it's like for that too many times. Jason able to roll out of the way. And adjacent hits Red with a Sin City driver. Goes for the pin. One. And Rose breaks it up at one. <laughs> Red with a vicious knee to the face, taking adjacent down. And drops his knee across the shin. Gonna go ahead and do it again. Trying to make sure he can't hit that cave in anymore. Red makes the tag to Rose. Adjacent. Laying in the middle of the ring, writhing in pain, struggling to get up. And Rose drops Alyssa to ringside and makes a quick tag to Red. Oh, and adjacent with the cave-in out of nowhere. Goes for the pin. But Rose right there to break it up before even a one count. Adjacent now going to the top rope. Connects with a big splash. Stomping away at the arm. Comes off the ropes with that cannonball. And Jason going to make a tag to Alyssa. Oh, and a slap to the face from Alyssa to Rose there. Now just tossing her around. Literally by her head there. Good lord. Jason and Alyssa. Looks like they have a good opportunity to end this match here. Red Angel still not back up over to his corner. So if Rose is in trouble, I don't think he's going to be able to break up the pin as of right now. Unless they're firing some elbows into the face of Rose. Now has her up. Tosses her over into the other corner. Red back up on the corner. Alyssa's setting up here. Has Rose up. For a one arm power bomb, and drops her, goes for the pin. Rope break though. Rose, really get her hand on the ropes. Alyssa, going for that submission. She's got Rose stretched out across her back. The red, able to break it up. Alyssa, stomping away, back of the leg of Rose. Now Alyssa's going to make the tag to adjacent. I think Rose just rolled out of the ring. Oh, and a nasty neck breaker there from adjacent. Blood still pouring down the side of the face of adjacent here. Adjacent turning red over. Could be looking for a submission. But red got his arm under the ropes. Forcing a rope break. Adjacent thinks he's done enough. He's going to go for the pin. Does not hook the leg, though. And that is it. Adjacent and Alyssa move on.
Tampa open court tonight. I don't know the last time we saw a Red Angel lose. Red Angel could have pulled his weight a little more. Coming from the guy that can't pull his own weight in his own faction? That's not saying a whole lot there, sir. Next up, we got A. Mills taking on Olivia Duncan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cat, you are literally as in the way as you could be. That doesn't mean come back up here. Got a lot of weight and you can't pull it. <clears throat> Make all the excuses as you want, sir. Mills, Miss Hart, Rose, teaming when? I don't know. Rose uh, has a teamed plan, a teamed team planned for season two. Uh, I can say it does not include A Mills or Miss Hart. <clears throat> A Mills looking to bounce back from last week as her. And C Mills took a loss in that opening round, or the opening match for the mixed match challenge against Darren and Courtney. A Mills looking to win in her singles debut here tonight. Facing off against Olivia Duncan. Olivia, one of the BCW originals here for the women's division. Darren and Courtney had a celebration party last weekend from that match. <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? If you beat one half of the former tag team champs. <clears throat> it was a taco bar. That sounds pretty good. I'm down. Tacos. All right, A Mills and Olivia. Let's go. A Mills came out swinging, but Olivia catches her and just tossing her over her shoulder. Nice neck breaker. Followed up with a double underhook suplex there from Olivia. Amos with a knee to the gut. Oh, and connects with a springboard head kick. <clears throat> Olivia sweeps the leg. Amos. Amos with a kick to the head. Oh, and a nice punch to the gut there. A nice bridging suplex from Amos. Let's start working on the arm of Olivia now. Amos. Very quickly going up to that top rope. A lot of speed there from Amos. Second guessing, she comes down. Oh, and delivers a code breaker. Now starting to work the legs of Olivia. Oh, now Amos getting a little cocky. Just putting her foot right across the face of Olivia. A Mills just taking Olivia and driving the back of her head into the mat. Some nice strikes from A Mills. Wonder where she gets the cockiness. Oh no, can possibly be from her husband C Mills. That just wouldn't make any sense. A Mills throwing Olivia back head first. 
follows it up with some punches to the face. Kick to the gut. What is she looking for here? Oh, she's using that submission that Alyssa uses. Oh, shit, you're right. Predictions. <clears throat> Olivia in quite the predicament here, but she's able to break out of the submission there. You guys got two minutes to get your predictions in because I forgot to put them up again. A Mills on the middle rope. Doesn't get down that time, but probably should have. She misses the drop kick. Oh, and Olivia went for a, I think, a springboard crossbody. Didn't fully connect, but connected enough. Now Olivia gonna drag A Mills to the center of the ring. Goes for the pin. Is that enough? A Mills kicks out at two. Olivia try to get momentum onto her side for this matchup. I will have to grab another water here in a second. Uh, right now I cannot move. Olivia on the top rope. Wants aim. A Mills up. Oh, and connects there with that eclipse. Goes for the pin. Two. Oh, and A Mills again kicks out at two. Olivia thinks the ref probably should have counted a bit faster there. A Mills able to grab the leg and bring Olivia down. A Mills has Olivia up. Oh, not for the submission. Drops her face first onto the mat. Goes for the pin. One, two. Olivia kicks out at two. Ref gonna ref indeed. Crowd chanting, this is wrestling. A Mills running in circles. Going up to the top rope, trying to decide what to do. Goes for a big splash and is able to connect. Can A Mills pick up a victory in her singles debut? Vicious slap. Next with a forearm. Uh, I don't know why that didn't work, Rose. I will give you your points back after this. A Mills setting up. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Drops her face first. Goes for the pin. Is that enough? One, two. Oh, and Olivia kicks out, but I think the ref started counting, a, stopped counting a bit early there. Ah, I don't know about that one. That I think that one should have been three. No, you don't get him back if it worked. A Mills up to the top. Oh, and not sure what she was looking for there, but didn't connect. Oh, and Olivia delivers a big boot, stomping away at the arm. Olivia going to the top rope. Sides against it, goes for a springboard moonsault. Doesn't quite have the distance. But luckily for her, Amos was still stunned. Backbreaker across the knee there. Amos able to turn things around there. Kick to the gut. Has Olivia up. Has that submission locked in. Olivia not quite close enough to the ropes, and Olivia taps out. A Mills wins her singles debut match here in BCW. Here's Shadow's favorite thing, the handshake. Oh, no, no handshake. I'm sorry. 
Olivia, not happy. I'll be giving out points all week. Have you been wrong every time today, KB? Next up, we got Proto J taking on T J Steel. Think Mills would shake hands? I don't know. A Mills might. I don't think C Mills would. Alrighty, you guys got five minutes to get those predictions in. TJ coming off a hell of an Iron Man match last week against BPJ. TJ doing this for John Moxley. <coughs> Something tells me that's not quite quite right. And Protege coming off a surprising victory against Kaiser to get him in the Money in the Bank ladder match just a little under a month ago. Unfortunately, did not walk out with that Money in the Bank briefcase. But still, uh, made himself a serious name here with a win over Kaiser. Protégé is a record Two and one. And TJ, two and oh. One win in singles and tag competition, respectively. Both wins coming against a BPJ. It's not a tough, or not, I'm sorry, not an easy opponent to beat once, let alone twice. Let's see if TJ can carry this momentum into this matchup here with Protege. DJ soaking in the crowd here this evening. TJ keeps it up. He could be a big player going into season two. BCW. Looks like you guys probably got about a little over two and a half minutes to get those predictions in. For this matchup, who you think will win between be, be team, between Protege and TJ Steel? All right, this match is underway. TJ coming out swinging. TJ with a oh. Poison Rana right out the gate. I was going to say TJ with the size advantage here in this matchup. And it uh, looks like he's going to put all of that to use. Going to the top rope. Looking for an elbow drop and he connects. Mosley and Protege's outfits are the same. Uh, I do believe they're similar. I don't think they are the exact same. I'll have to double check. If so, we'll, we'll switch it up for Protégé. TJ with a kick to the gut here. Hooks the arms. Oh, and drops Protégé right on his head. Starts springboard moonsault off that middle rope. Goes for the pin, looking to end this early. Protégé kicks out at two. Nice athleticism here shown by TJ going for the pin. Protege kicks out. Chris and JD's and out Chris and JD's outfits are the same. They are indeed the same, but they are also the same, seeing as they are twins. Damn. TJ not giving Protege any time to get any offense in. And that is it. 
TJ is victorious before the predictions are even done. So that match, well less than five minutes. Quick match indeed. That might be the fastest match in BCW history. We've had a couple in before predictions are done. He did it for the mocks. He did it for the people. He did it for the rock. TJ making quick work of Protégé. And moving on, or improving to 3-3. Three and three. All right. Our next two matches determine number one contenders. There you see the competitors of a 10 women Royal Rumble match to determine the number one contender for the BCW Women's Championship here tonight. Got Alyssa, Courtney Kaufman, Dakubara, Diana, Miss Gotcha, Miss Hart, Nightmare Nicole, Rose, Stacy Stagg, and the Wendigo Queen. I don't think that's the order they come in. It should be random, but we shall see. And our ring announcer is practicing his mining skills. Basically what he's saying is the winner of this moves on to Midnight Mayhem. To face women's champion. Oh, now he wants to talk. Now the two superstars, that true number one and number two, will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. I don't know what he's talking about with WrestleMania. I think Red Angel would have done more knowing you had another match. Yeah, because Red Angel didn't have another match earlier in the night or anything. We don't do WrestleMania here in BCW. <clears throat> Alyssa cleaned up quick. It looks like Alyssa drew number one. We'll see who draws number two. And number two is... taking their time to get to Gorilla. So I think Alyssa and Courtney were the two at the top of that order, right? So I think the order it showed might have been the order they come in at. So Alyssa and Courtney going to start things off here and this 10 women Royal Rumble matchup to determine the number one contender for the BCW Women's Championship. Taking advantage that Alyssa just had a match. Trying to get her out early. Alyssa delivering a big boot. If that's true, then Daku was next. Alright, let's see. Nice German from Courtney. 
Nope. Rose in at number three. The order is indeed randomized. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming in and immediately going after Courtney. I don't think I understand the decision there. I think I would have gone after Alyssa, but that's just me. Looks like there's not going to be a lot of time between entrance here, which is fine by me. We don't need 90 seconds between each entrance. And Rose trying to throw Alyssa over the top rope just straight from the ring. Windigo at number four. Windigo, probably the favorite to win this matchup here tonight. Oh, and grabs Alyssa out of whatever she was attempting to do to Rose and drops her. Now Windigo going after Courtney. Alyssa drops Rose. Courtney drops Windigo. Entrant number five. It's going to be Daku. Courtney going to try and eliminate Wendigo here. Try to get the biggest threat out of the ring first. Daku. Or not Daku, I'm sorry. Wendigo. Will deliver a vicious right to Courtney. And get out of that bad predicament she was in. Alyssa going after Wendigo now. As Daku and Rose are squaring off. Courtney throws Alyssa out to the apron, but Alyssa gets back in almost immediately. Miss Gotcha in at number six. Only got four more left. Nasty slap from Alyssa there, but look, there's a clothesline for the Wendigo Queen. I think also for season two, we're going to need a little bit more color variation. we got a lot of red and black in this ring. <laughs> Wendigo with a drop kick to the face of Courtney. Daku looked like she was going to try and start pushing Rose out of the ring, but Rose able to get back in. Stacy enters at number seven. Hey, don't make fun. Hey, I also wear red and black. Oh, and Daku, the first one eliminated. Oh, well. <laughs> Courtney locks in an arm bar on Stacy. <laughs> More red and black. Look, I'm a fan of red and black. My gear is red and black as well. Miss Hart coming in at number eight. Stacy takes down Courtney. Alyssa has one to go up on her shoulders. What's she looking for here? Looking for a submission. Lucky number eight. That's a possibility. Stacy making Miss Hart and Courtney headbutt. Oh, and Rose tosses Miss Gotcha over her shoulder and eliminates Miss Gotcha. Diana at number nine. Wendigo is looking to eliminate Alyssa, but Alyssa. Able to kick Wendigo and stay in the ring. Courtney going after Rose now. Alyssa showboat. Oh, and Diana eliminates Wendigo Queen. Now delivers a suplex to Alyssa. Vicious forearm from Diana. One and two are still in this match. Nicole, the final one to enter at number 10. Rose tosses Alyssa over the top rope. Doesn't try to eliminate her though. Don't quite understand that decision. Vicious elbow there from Nicole. Vicious slaps on oh, now Rose going after Nicole. It's interesting. There. Oh, and Stacy eliminates Diana with a clothesline. I 
Only six women left in this match. Who will be facing Anna Lane next week at Fright Night? Uh, yeah, it's because of her Halloween thing. It's It was easier to just kind of keep her that way than it was to go back and change it and have to remember it later. So, yeah, yeah, she is. So you get a preview of her Halloween costume. All you know is that she's gray. <laughs> Stacy is uh, also in her wrong attire, so we get a couple previews. Alyssa delivering a chop block to Stacy. Alyssa catches Nicole's right and delivers a headbutt. Follows it up with an elbow right across the chest. It's like everyone's paired off here. Alyssa and Nicole, Courtney and Miss Hart, and Rose and Stacy. Can't say I'm shocked to see Rose and Stacy going at it. They have gone at it since the inception of BCW. Now Rose has Miss Hart up. Miss Hart. Able to squirm her way down. To get out of that predicament. Rose stunned in the middle of the ring. Stacy went for a right, but Rose able to block it. Alyssa now. Looking to eliminate Nicole over there in the corner. Is she going to be able to do it? And Alyssa dumps Nicole out over the corner. Only five women left. One and two are still in this match. One, two, and three, actually. Oh, and Nicole with a slap to Rose right out the gate. <laughs> Alyssa tossing Stacy over her shoulders. Alyssa going after Courtney. Miss Hart trying to dump Stacy out over the corner there. And she does. We are down to the final four. Rose delivers a vicious right. Did I say Nicole? I meant Courtney. Rose gonna roll under that bottom rope there. Smart move. Oh, and that step up kick. But Rose able to duck out of the way. Rose fired a forearm, but Miss Hart ducked out of the way. Oh, and Courtney throws Alyssa on top of Rose. Couldn't have been the best landing for either woman there. Vicious face buster there from Miss Hart. Oh, and Miss Hart delivers a super kick and eliminates Rose. Down to the final three. Alyssa, Miss Hart, and Courtney. Alyssa and Courtney were one and two. Will they be the final two? Pain. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no friends when fighting for a title shot. That is for sure. Courtney going after Alyssa. Next with what looked like a spinning shoulder block. Miss Hart throwing Courtney over into the corner. Now Miss Hart trying to eliminate Courtney. She dumps Courtney out over the top. Now it's just Miss Hart and Alyssa. Who is going to Fright Night to face Anna Lane? Will it be Alyssa or will it be Miss Hart? Alyssa came in at number one. Miss Hart was number eight. Going for a leg drop here. She connects. Has Alyssa up. 
He's gonna drag her over to the ropes. And instead of trying to knock her over the ropes, she brings her back into the ring. She might pay for that. Alyssa has her up. Miss Hart able to slip out. Alyssa fires an elbow into the face of Miss Hart. <clears throat> Hard getting some combinations in, going to the top rope. Connects with the seven circles of hell. <clears throat> Can't win this by pinfall, though. Gotta toss Alyssa over the top rope. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, connects with a heart attack. Has Alyssa out on the apron, but Alyssa right back in, wasting no time. Brings Alyssa to the mat. And try and throw her out again. Alyssa tries hanging on and Miss Hart wins the Royal Rumble and will go on to face Anna Lane next week for the BCW Women's Championship. Now it is time for our main event. Triple threat tornado tag elimination match between the Prestige, the Saiyan Assassins, and the Midnight Kings. Now, just to uh, ensure, or try to ensure, that this match does not go on forever, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Because if we try to make them pin everyone inside the ring... Oh, yes, that's right. Thank you for that. I totally forgot. Let's hear from uh, the Prestige, shall we? We do have a word from them. Let me pull that up real quick. Give me one quick second. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, I put it in there and everything and just totally forgot. But all right. Let's hear what the have to say, shall we? Good. Yeah. We have your permission, sir. Prestige is here! Baby, baby, baby. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Monday night, midnight mayhem. They are going after the Saiyan Assassin. And the Midnight Kings, and baby. And the Midnight Kings. By the hand of God! Yeah, the, oh, this no. is what we're gonna do to him! We're gonna do him! We're boys. gonna! Yeah. We're gonna crush him and suck him! Is that what? I'm gonna go hard, dude! Proceed to the back of that championship! I think, uh,. I think the Prestige might have been uh, spending too much time with Axel. I don't know. Or maybe Axel was spending too much time with the Prestige, and that's where he got his uh, drinking problem. Seamills is a, a little bit sus for that line. <laughs> prestige. Former tag team champions. Gonna make their way to the ring First, Prestige with a 124 day title reign with the BCW Tag Team Champions earlier when they won them at the inauguration and then lost them just two weeks ago. 
at Destruction of Paradise. Now, looking to win here tonight and get a shot to earn their titles back. What belt does Matt have? He has the WWEP Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship title, who he uh, defeated Red Angel for at WrestleMania, I do believe. So he's held that belt for quite some time. If memory serves me correct. I could be wrong on that. Saiyan assassins gonna make their way to the ring <laughs> seeing those outfits never disappoint you dude is decorated dude is decorated indeed I don't think it was at all out no he beat red before that for the world title They might have had a rematch at All Out. <clears throat> but I do believe Matt won the title <clears throat> at WrestleMania. But the Saiyan Assassins have made their way to the ring. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't remember. WWEP defenses have been so few and far between lately. It's so hard to remember when they happened and who won them from who. Saint Assassins have made their way to the ring. Probably one of the quickest rising tag teams here in BCW. Showed up just a few months ago and have beaten pretty much everyone there is to beat other than the Prestige. Yeah, other than the Prestige. They hold a victory over every other tag team in BCW. And it was won by yours truly. The Intercontinental Championship was indeed won by you, Rose. Midnight King's going to make their way to the ring. We'll see how ready and healthy D. Mosley is. He had quite the matchup to start the show here tonight against Red Angel for that Immortal Championship. And his partner, Tony Nash, is the World Heavyweight Championship. He will be defending that next week against Crazy J, who won the Money in the Bank at Destruction of Paradise. We'll see if he can hold on to it and keep his reign going. Their names are Calvin and Hobbs. No, it's not their names. <laughs> okay, yeah, Mosley's and Protégé's singlets aren't the same. They have similar colors, but they're not the same. I didn't think so. Too much blue and black. Yeah, all two of them. Well, hell, Tony's more blue and white than blue and black. Oh, I guess. Never mind. Nice mixture of blue, white, and black. Alright, all three teams have made their way to the ring. Remember, everyone is legal at all times. Falls count anywhere. Who was going to Fright Night to face the Reckoning for the tag titles? Matt tossing out Tony immediately. Z Mills trying to toss out Alexander. Oh, and Alexander comes back in with a flying clothesline and takes down Seamills. Mosley tosses a B out to ringside. And there is going to be chaos everywhere, so I will do my best to keep up with this match, but I'm going to let you know right now it is not going to be possible. So we will see what happens. I feel like the ref trying to keep up with everything. There's no shot. <clears throat> Matt throwing Tony into the barricade. Looks like Alex... Took C Mills out to ringside. Mosley and a B still going at it. Oh, 
Tony and Matt going back and forth. All six men really going back and forth. No one team or one person has been dominant over who they've uh, decided to fight out to ringside as of yet. C Mills and Alex, the only two left in the ring. <clears throat> I think Tony's got a submission locked in on Matt there. The ref went out to ringside to make sure he didn't tap out. Matt able to break out. Alex going to the top rope. Nice moonsault from Alex. Goes for the pin. Ref's got to make his way back into the ring. And C Mills able to kick out before even a one count. Ref had a little too much ground to cover there. That would be working the leg of Mosley. Alex kicks the arm out from C Mills. Oh, now looks to lock in that arm bar. Dead center of the ring. Is Alex going to get C Mills to tap out here? I don't know how much work he's done to that arm. Apparently not enough. Simo is able to roll out and push Alex off of him. Owen. Oh, <clears throat> the end of days out of nowhere. Goes for the pin. But luckily for Alex, the ref was focused on the submission. And Alex kicks out. For a one count. Simo is going to throw Alex into the corner. He'll be looking for the Heaven's Gate, but Alex able to fight his way out of the corner there. Tony with some vicious punches to the face. Seamills throws Alex into the other corner. Nice move there from Tony. Goes for the pin. One, two. And I assume Matt kicked out. Cameraman switched at the wrong time. Alex with that arm bar locked in on Seamills in the center of the ring again. I don't see the ref, so Simos might be able to get away with tapping out here and the ref not seeing it. Oh, Alex going for a pin on Seamills. Seamills kicks out before even a one count. The ref was there pretty quick too. Now Mosley going for a pin on a B. One, two, three, and a B has been eliminated. Alex now all on his own. I guess Denzel been doing a lot of work over there at ringside that we weren't able to see and is able to eliminate one half of the Saiyan assassins Alex got an uphill battle now I gotta outlast these other four competitors if he wants to earn a shot for him and to be next week now Alex looking to avenge his partner now going after Mosley <clears throat> Matt and Tony still fighting at ringside. Matt throwing Tony into the barricade. Alexander and Simos look like they're kind of teaming up here. Going after Mosley. Alex able to drop him. Someone. I lost my train of thought. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alexander over in the corner trying to decide what to do next. Tony was kicks to the face of Matt. Went for a standing moonsault, but Matt got the knees up. Now Seamill's just bench pressing. D Mosley. Matt's busted open, is he? I... He is, I can't tell. Now Matt going for a pin on Tony. One, two. No, and Tony kicks out at two. I thought that was it. Alex brings Denzel down. Now both prestige members working on Tony. While Alex and D. Mosley fight in the ring. Alex does not want to do a lot at ringside. He spent the majority of this match in the ring. Oh, and Matthew throwing Tony into that LED screen. True team indeed. Now Alex has that armbar locked into Mosley. Trying to get him to tap out. Right in the middle of the ring. Mosley able to break free. Mosley with the forearm to the back. Seamills tossing Tony 
out at ringside to Matt. Oh, and Matt with a kick to the gut. Looking for a powerbomb, but Tony trying to fight his way out. Tony could use his partner's help, but his partner kind of caught up with Alex right now. Seamills tossing Tony, goes for the pin. Is that enough? Uh, the ref's just going to stand in the corner first. One, two. And Tony kicks out at two. Not entirely sure what the ref was doing before counting that pin. It's like Matt has a submission locked in. Now Alex has a submission locked in. Oh, but a rope break. This is not no disqualifications. So rope breaks do matter and weapons cannot be used. Alex going for a pin on Mosley in the center of the ring. Ref getting into the position. One, two. Mosley kicks out. And Tony delivers a power bomb to Matt. Ref getting in position, taking his sweet ass time, and Matt kicks out at one. Or not not even one. Sorry. Ref had to run all the way around the ring. Alex looking for that arm bar again. Has it locked in. And Mosley taps out. Prestige, the only full team left. Nice standing moonsault from Tony. On to Seamills. Does it again. Goes for the pin. One. No, and Seamills kicks out at one. Not a lot of damage has been done to the Prestige. So Tony and Alex might have to form an unlikely alliance here if they want to take out the Prestige members. We'll see if that happens. Matt working on Alex. Seamills working on Tony. Matt going for the pin. Ref trying to get in a position. Two. Alex kicks out at two. Seamills going to throw Tony into the ring. Matt going to throw Alexander into the ring. Oh, and a vicious right from Seamills. Now he's going to go for the pin. One, two, three. And that is it. This is now effectively a two-on-one handicap match for Alexander. It's not looking good for Alexander here. He's got to pin both Matt and Cody. Both of them stomping away at Alex in the corner. Prestige showing why they had that 124-day title reign. A little bit of a miscommunication there and some more miscommunication. <clears throat> As Seamills was looking to end it. Now they toss him out to ringside. All of them cores for real. Now throw him back into the ring. Seamills going to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Looks for an elbow drop and he connects right to the back of Alex. I'm going to roll him over and go for the pin. One, two, three. Ooh, no, not three. Alex able to kick out. Still apparently has some fight left in him, or at the very least, not willing to quit. Oh, and Seamills breaks up the submission there from Matt. Seems to be a bad decision there. Now Matt stops the end of days again. I think that's the second time he's done that. Matt swinging wildly. And Alex, Alex trying to get out of this hold from Seamills. Instead walks right into Matt. The Prestige not giving Alex any room to breathe. Even if he does get away from one, he turns around right into another. Seamill stunned. Alex trying to take some advan an advantage here. But Matt not going to let it happen. Delivering some nice combinations. Drops Alex with a punch to the gut. Is it all going to fall apart right here? That would be some shit, KB. Matt just lifting Alex. Dropping him right to the mat. Oh, and Cody, I think, might have struck Matt there. These two need to get on the same page. I know it's two on one, but they don't get their shit together. I wouldn't be surprised to see Alex pull this off. Mike Jones.
Prestige need to get their shit together and just end this match. <laughs> Stop fighting each other. Oh, man. Mom and Dad are fighting. What's Hart going to do now? Probably lose his next match. This is why you can't drink before a match. This is exactly why you can't drink before a match. But, oh, Seamills throwing Alexander into the steel steps. Goes for the pin. One, two, and Alex kicks out at two again. Alex, for the sake of yourself, stay down. Matt looking for a power bomb to end it. Out at ringside. Matt just going to lay on top of Alex. There's no way he kicks out here. And Alex kicks out again. Good lord. This man will not let this match end. Tries to fight out. Gets a drop kick to the shin of Seamills. Takes him down. Going to throw Seamills into the ring. Reverses whatever Matt was going for there. Seamills going to make his way back to ringside. Alex throws Matt into the ring. Now Seamills has Alex up on his shoulders. Alex able to fight out. Alex has a lot of heart, but it's going to take quite a bit if he wants to overcome two-on-one. Face Buster into a pin. Is that enough to get at least one? I don't know what the hell the ref's doing. One, two. Matt kicks out at two. I think if the ref might have actually counted when he was supposed to there, he might have been able to pin Matt. The ref kind of blocking off the prestige there. Oh, and Alex has that armbar locked in. Seamill submits. Alex has taken down one prestige member. Matt doesn't break up the submission. Is Alex going to pull this off? Holy shit. Brings Matt down. Working on that arm. Looks like Matt was able to break out. Alex with a kick to the gut. And Alex has the arm bar. Is he going to get Matt to submit? Holy shit, Alex has done it. <laughs> Alex wins the match for the Saiyan Assassins and takes out both Prestige members with the arm bar. This game is something else. What the hell is it be doing? <laughs> what a main event. <laughs> what a finish. I can't believe this man pulled that off. <laughs> a B is lost. Holy cow, indeed, Cosmic. All right, there you go. You see the logo for Fright Night. I'm excited. Uh, probably none of this is going to happen, but, you know, that's okay. Tony vs. Paradox, we had that match already. Tony won quite convincingly. Damn, an eight-man, four-way tornado tag match for the titles? No thanks. Thank God we're not doing that. But all right. What a hell of a show. We had some great matches tonight. Randy! <laughs> all righty, all righty, all righty. Well... Thank you all for stopping by on this Monday. I know we usually do this on Tuesday, but with AEW being tomorrow, I, I wasn't going to stream this tomorrow. Um, the rest of my week is very short. Uh, the only day, again, I'm streaming this week is Friday. Me and Vindicate, a.k.a. Seamills, are going to be doing a launch co-op stream for Gotham Knights Friday night. So be sure to stop by for that. That will be at 9 o'clock. But also, please do not go anywhere. We are going to raid wrong paradox hold up i'm glad i caught that i forgot there's we're gonna read this paradox <laughs> he's playing some apex legends so if you guys could go over there and show him some love that would be great and i would really appreciate it and i know he would too look for the prestige on aew hard camp oh i will for sure but thank you all for coming out 
Uh, we had a great show. I am excited for Fright Night next Tuesday. And I will see you all on Friday with Gotham Knights. I'm stoked. But thank you all for stopping by. Peace. You got me right as I get clapped. That's the funny thing. Bro, how was your stream? I, I, I'm I so sorry I missed it. Mrs. has been sick. Baby's still not feeling too a hondo, so I was like, okay. Ooh, Uncharted, thank you so much for the follow. 